What's up YouTube, Egerka here, bringing you an action figure update. Today we are looking at something very exciting, which is McFarlane's first, and I repeat, first Kickstarter campaign figure. Because he's pretty enthusiastic about really pushing this Kickstarter campaign and making multiple figures off of funding directly to the fans. So, this is exciting because we're getting a classic Spawn figure. It is supposed to be a recreation of the very first Spawn figure that came out in 1995, which was a 5-inch, pretty beefy-looking Spawn in his first outfit, in his classic outfit that had the red with the white M Malboja on the chest here. So, the main thing behind this is that McFarlane kind of offered these one-off really cool 7-inch scale pieces to stores and they just don't want the really big boxed items, these one-off kind of like niche collector items. And it's probably not even that they don't want it, but there's just no shelf space because he was explaining in his Kickstarter video how the companies from the 90s the mid-90s to even the early 2000s, the KB Toys, the Tower Records, all those really cool places that really thrived off of selling these old-school McFarlane horror figures, they aren't around anymore. Even Toys R Us is out of business, which was the other source of getting McFarlane figures and NECA figures. That's out of the equation. So now we are reliant on the Walmarts and the Targets of all places and the GameStops and even GameStop is like super overpriced. Their MK11 spawn figure, geez, that was like $27.99, something like that, when the retail is $19.99. But I digress. Anyway, so he wants to totally skip that and bring the fans these really cool pieces and just sell directly to the consumer, which I think is very smart. Because then money isn't wasted on projects that won't sell and there's no middleman with dealing with these big corporations like Target and Walmart. And I'm no businessman, but just on paper and in my head, it just makes sense. And um, we're willing to pay more than seeing it in the store, you know what I mean? And all the money goes directly to McFarland's crew there and into production. And I think it's great. So to get really into this, like I said, this new figure is supposed to be like a remaster of their first spawn and it's gonna be bigger so it's gonna be seven inch scale which is great it's not gonna be five inch um, like the original figure and in his own words he said it's gonna have some super sexy packaging whatever that means but I trust it's gonna look really cool and I, it's gonna be a clamshell he wants it to be reminiscent of the original package with the original comic so it's going to have the the original spawn one that's gonna be digitally re-inked digitally remastered um, but basically have the same drawings, but it's just going to be inked again in a different and cool way. So, on top of that, the figures are going to come with a really cool slip case. So it's going to be like a nice outside, it's going to slip out, inside's going to be a foam insert like a Hot Toys figure, and it's going to have the, if you have any extra accessories in your tier, it's going to be in there with a perfect little outline. Or just think of Toy Story 2 when the foam insert had the outline of Woody and his hat and everything. That's what I think of. And um, inside the foam insert is going to be the actual clamshell with the figure inside and the comic book. So it's very cool. It's all very exciting. It's going to be like super regal looking. And uh, I just can't wait to get my hands on it. So that's going to come out. It should come out this November. November 2020. That's when things should start shipping out, and it's going to be shipping worldwide, which is awesome. So there's going to be four tiers. Each tier is going to be baselined at $40. So if you pledge $40, you will get a figure. And there are three different figures, and they're all worth the same amount. So we have the option, which is cool. So you have the first tier, which is the classic spawn. That's going to come with the red chest painted and the original spawn masked head, which is going to be nice. And the cape is going to be foldable. He is going to be fully articulated, which is very cool. They even show a demonstration of what the articulation is going to look like. And he's going to be at 7 inches, which is nice. The second tier is what they call the modern spawn. That means he's going to have the black chest. And he's going to come with his hamburger head with the shoelace, which is when um, 
he's basically chilling in the alleys and <laughs> his face got ripped apart and he's using this shoelace to keep it together and it's a really cool head option so that is the second tier the third tier is going to be the artist proof version and this is the one that's going to be painted all like gray flat a matte flat gray it's basically what the sculpt looks like before it's painted and what it's looking like when it's being proofed from the artist so that's that's also cool that's gonna come with a black and white comic to reflect that so each of these tiers is gonna come with a different cover per tier and they're all gonna be the same comic on the inside but on the artist proof tier which is the gray spawn it's gonna have the black and white art on the inside and the cover which is very cool now the last and final tier is basically everything put together and that is going to come with three spawn figures so it's going to come with the classic spawn with the red the black spawn then the gray spawn and then it's going to come with two exclusive heads with that doesn't come with any of the other tiers that's going to be the Al Simmons head which is his human head they have him bald at this point and it's going to come with the screaming hamburger head which is like the kind of monster looking head here. And um, that tier is going to be $160. So if you pledge $160 or more, you will get the fourth tier. And that will be coming with also all of its autographs. So this is where we move up. Each tier kind of has like this second tier within it. So it'll come with this little plastic plaque that's uh, very reminiscent of the McFarland sports figures. This little plaque will have his hand signed autograph, and you could display that wherever you want in front of the figure behind it. Doesn't even matter. And so, if you want an autograph per tier, it's going to change that $40 into $80. So, you can get the classic tier, no autograph, $40, with autograph, $80. And that applies to every other one. So, $40, no autograph, $80 with autograph. Or tier four that comes with all the figures is $160 with the two extra heads. So it's pretty cool. I think the figure looks amazing. And um, it's gonna come with a bonus weapon if you get the autographs, which is cool. He's gonna have a really cool gun. And it's just really cool, you know what I mean? And I don't know how many times I could say cool without it getting old, but this is an exciting thing. It's definitely cool to see something different in the figure world, especially during the whole coronavirus pandemic is like almost a little glimmer of hope that there's going to be a time where we're not going to be worrying about this virus as much um and it's just something to look forward to so until next time you guys take care i'm definitely going to be joining at least one of these tiers and when i get my hands on this figure in november i'll be reviewing it that's for sure so stay safe out there guys i will see you later and have fun